it was the Wild Wild West. We talk, We were talking about Stevie Wonder, and I said, "That's that's how we started the Will Smith conversation." I said, "I heard that Stevie Wonder song that started off like the Wild Wild West," and then you said people at at trivia were like, "Oh, is that Wild Wild West?" You're like, no, it's Stevie Wonder. Yeah. I think, oh, yeah, that I think that's yeah, how it started, yeah, yeah. and then we, all right. yeah. Freak it, freak it, freak Are we it. live? Oh, yes, we are live. Oh, crap. We're talking freaking, freaking randomly. Wild. Yes. Wild West. We're live on the Facebooks, guys. Hey. Yep. Getting ready to uh, record. After Earth. Doing? After Earth. That's right. I mm-hmm. just typed it in the goddamn description here. Yeah. No. All right. M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. She. Yep. She. She. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> All right, we good. I'm not taking too much of the camera. He's in a new show. Is he? Yeah, uh, Clay Davis. I, I forgot what it is, but <laughs> yeah, it, it it looks pretty stupid. I just saw. Oh, you showed me that stupid infomercial he does with that bobbling head. Oh yeah, that's the talking. <laughs> yeah. She. Yeah, three different kinds of she mm-hmm. it's. Mm-hmm. No. All right, let's go over to the mushrooms. So I don't cover your face. Oh. I don't have much more. There you go. You're gonna need. You're gonna need the mic. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. So yeah, this is the. Uh, this is before the show. We're gonna start recording soon. Uh, the After Earth. Mm-hmm. We just finished a rousing talk about Game of Thrones. Yes, because I finally caught up. Yeah. And record with time. one episode to go. <laughs> yeah. People were shocked by how fast I caught up. Yeah. Well, when there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. I have an idea exactly how you do it. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't sleep. No. There were. A few episodes, because I felt like I was, I was gonna, not going to make it. There were a few episodes I would start them as I would drive to boot camp. So I'd drive, look down, look down, look down. Oh, my. Yeah, totally what, illegal. Yeah. I, I did that for The Wire. I Like, I half did, a season yeah. of The Wire, I did that. I was like, okay, what's happening? Yep. Yeah, Baltimore. That's how, I, that's how I get to show so fast as well. <laughs> we definitely get you, like, a Google Glass. I'll, I'll load it up on my iPad so that I can I can watch it. Uh just hear most of the times you can hear and be fine. Mm-hmm. But then I work on my breaks. I'll go out to my car, watch it a little bit. Okay. On my lunch breaks, I'm watching more, so I can get through the three three episodes a, a day easily. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And if there's nothing after work, then fuck. That's five six episodes. Yeah. <laughs> One Saturday, I went through thirteen episodes. Wow. Because Sarah was working from like I don't know six a.m. to like seven p.m. So All right. I was like, well, I need something to do today. Yeah. So oh, that's perfect. That's yeah. perfect game of thrones. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. All right. So we're going to start After Earth. Okay. After Earth, here we go. Freak a freak Oh, no, not this movie. <laughs> freak a freak a Wild Wild West. No way. Wild Wild West. What? Jim West. Desperado. Rough, Rough Riders. Rider. No, you don't, you don't want, want nada. nada. None of this. Sixth gun in this, brother running this. <laughs> Buffalo soldier look. It's like I told you. <laughs> He does be in distress. Be out of that dress. When Damn, Jim West. I, that's impressive. Yeah. You know how a, Annie yeah. doesn't know actor names? Yeah. I don't know lyrics to songs. I oh, know. I mumble and I... Uh, straight to <laughs> the wild, wild west. No, I'm I, right there with you. I, yeah. I like to immerse myself. If there's a song I like, I'll, I'll listen to it over and over until I know every single until word. You know, okay. Oh, so, so that when I'm not listening to it, I can still be singing it all okay. in my head. Speaking of which, last time we were on the footage, we're talking about like songs that we immerse ourselves in, even if we're not really comfortable like having other people say. Oh yeah. What was yours again? Your guilty pleasures. Yeah, your guilty oh, pleasures. Yeah, Keisha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. Oh, what? <laughs> K K dollar ha. K dollar sign ha. Yeah. K dollar sign ha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> time for After Earth. Hello out there in podcast land and welcome back to Spoilers, your bad movie review show on the Rat Pack Podcast Network where your hosts have lots of opinions but zero credentials. Each week we watch a movie, usually a bad one. We crack a couple jokes, we give you our insight into the film, and we play a couple games at the end. I'm your host, Hollywood, and I'm joined by my two co-hosts, Adam and Maestro. Hello. Howdy. This week we're watching 2013's After Earth. Uh, Adam picked this one. It was between this and the Fricka Fricka Wild Wild West. Yeah. I feel like I would have more fun with the other one. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, well, we'll get into that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're doing 2013's After Earth, and uh, this movie was directed by M Night Shyamalan slash Will Smith. Yes. Uh, oh, was that right? Oh yeah. I, I kind of had a vibe uh, that he was involved. More this is in my been. trivia, but I'll just I, this has to be said to set the tone for the movie you saw. Okay. So pretty much, I don't know if you saw the 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 credits, like the producing credits. It's Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Okay. And like Will Smith was like 
like the EP, the executive producer. Yeah. And he pretty much directed the movie like secretly. Like oh, M. Night was just like, okay, you stand there for the lighting. But Will Smith was the one like telling his son like, okay, you're scared. So like he was the one doing the character uh, emotion, all yeah. that stuff. So he was like secretly yeah. directing the movie. Yeah, but I don't have a problem with how M. Night Shyamalan directs how people are supposed to act. Mm-hmm. It's just I don't like the, his storylines. Well, this story was co-written by Will Smith. So it, he never wrote this story. This was the first movie he did where he didn't write the the script. Is that why his name he, wasn't on it? Oh yeah, it wasn't M Night Shyamalan's after Earth. Exactly, but he did Last Airbender before this, and people were like, "Fuck M Night." So yeah. I remember when I saw this trailer, they didn't say you know M Night Shyamalan yeah. anywhere. I don't, I don't remember if I knew at the time I watched it or not, but watching it this time, it, I, I could I could feel the M Night Shyamalan hands on it. Okay. As far as the the style and tones of some of the shots, that and... feels oddly disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so. Now that you know that going in, maybe it might explain things a little better. So this movie is directed by M. Night Shyamalan, Sigourney Will Smith, and it stars Jaden Smith, Will Smith, Zoe Kravitz, Sophie Okonedo. That's pretty much it. And like a bird. <laughs> yeah. <there's... laughs> and like a, a, a couple monkeys. Yeah. And the, uh, what do they call, what do they call that thing? The, the, the monster guy? What are, what are they, there's a name for it. Ciphers? No. Oh. Whatever. Let me do a brief synopsis while you look that up, Adam. All right. A crash landing leaves Katai Rage and his father Cypher stranded on Earth a millennium after events forced humanity's escape. With Cypher injured, Katai must embark on a perilous journey to signal for help. No. I ask this every episode. Have you ever seen this movie before? Nope. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really? I did. I watched it a few years back just because I keep seeing it pop up every now and then. Like I, I really, I like Will Smith. Mm-hmm. I, li- I like him a yeah. lot. But this movie had no appeal to me at all. <laughs> uh-huh. Even after you watched it or before you watched it? Before I watched it. And no appeal. Yeah. It's, it's still... <sighs> okay. What, what do you think of Will Smith's acting in, in, the, in, in this, this, in this movie, movie? Or in general? In this movie. Well, in this movie, he's just sitting down in a chair for 90% of the movie. Yeah. And it's just... See, the thing about Will Smith, his movies, like, where he's charming, he's charming, he's funny... He, you know, he's the likable action hero when he does action movies like Independence Day and Men yeah. in Black and stuff. But mm-hmm. you, in this movie, you don't have any of the Will Smith charm. It's him. I guess he went like full like character actor mode in this, where he's like, "I'm not scared of anything, therefore I have no emotion." Yeah, it was it was it was too far. Yes. So I, I don't know if that's either really good acting, the fact that he had no emotion, or not acting at all, or bad acting. <laughs> or maybe we just we're not used to seeing Will Smith this this way. Like, where's the charming? Will Smith. Yeah. You know? Well, like I assume he's the same kind of way in concussion, where he's not trying to be charming. Oh yeah, because he's playing the the doctor. Yeah, yeah. With, yeah. with an accent. Tell the truth. Yeah, I see. I, I don't. I don't want to watch that either. <laughs> I, maybe it's because to me, Will Smith is always and will always be the Fresh Prince. Okay. So seeing him outside of that is kind of just like I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Know. I, don't know. I don't have any interest. Okay. A bad Will Smith, movie, like the movie we might have watched, the, the freaking freaking Wild Wild West. Yeah. That one. That movie sucks, but Will Smith is like charming. Like he's, yeah, he's full of Smith. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. You're paying money. See, my problem with this movie is I didn't see this movie. I kind of wanted to see it initially four years ago when it came out, but then I found out from my friend. He's like, "Yeah, it's mainly his kid, dude. Like you don't really see Will Smith." Yeah. So everyone got tricked into saying, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna see a Will Smith movie." Nope. Nope. There is no Will. Smith. We get to see his son act like this. Hey, get away. Yeah. Get away from me. I feel like this. Will Smith only agreed to do this movie if, like, all right. All right, you have to put my kid in. Yeah, my kid <laughs> is, is the one. I'll, I'll be in your movie, but uh, it's – this is my portfolio <laughs> for my child. Or this is a live resume for Jaden so that he can get movies after this. Uh-huh. Did that ever happen? Well, the, uh, he did Karate Kid. That well, was that, that. that was before was this. Was that before? And yeah. that, was, that was a big hit. That was fine. And that movie was fine. Yeah. So it's not like – and plus, he was in The Pursuit of Happiness, too, with his dad. Oh, yeah. Right. So – That's a reversal of roles. Yeah, <laughs> Will Smith is the main, and he's kind of just sitting there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so like this kid, you know, he had two movies that were big hits. Yeah. So it's not like his dad has to like push him. That's true. I don't know. I don't know. This I just felt like this was like a vanity project from the Smith family. Absolutely. Who were like, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Yep. We're taking over the world, he, Smiths. Will Smith is there on his on his MacBook, just oh yeah, and then <laughs> the planet. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> It's, uh, Jada, give me a high five. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> to Jada. Yeah. The part of the a little glimpse into the bad writing of the movie uh-huh. is the their names. Uh, 
Kitai? Yeah, no, Rage is her last name. Oh yeah, Rage. Is but the, the last movie, name. the whole movie is about not feeling anything. Well, it was not feeling, just having no fear. Right. So no rage. <laughs> yeah, and well, you're ra- good. <laughs> well, rage. We're having a rageless rage. Is what we're having. What? No, if you become a rageless rage. rage, then you ghost. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like that's that's a that's a dumb little thing. I'm sure they're like, oh, this is clever rage, but we'll uh, put an eye in there, mm-hmm. so it's not real rage. You know, when I watched this movie, I fell asleep twice watching this movie. I had to wake up and I missed like 15 minutes. I'm like, let me rewind, and I'm like, I didn't miss anything. No, I just missed the video game progressing. This movie is like an like a Final Fantasy game. Yeah, I have my inventory here. I have a map. On my wrist, I got the the little um, hey uh, from the Navi. Zelda. <laughs> hey, listen. Navi is his dad in this yeah. movie. <laughs> There's like checkpoints, save points. Those are those like hot springs that he has to go to yeah. at, at night to stay warm. I feel like the script for this could be like 20 pages <laughs> as far as like actual speaking roles. There's not a whole lot of uh-huh. speaking going on. It's just a bunch of walking around. This reminds me of when we did a grudge match. The Stallone versus Robert De Niro boxing oh, movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I remember you said... <laughs> The, so the writer of this movie put said, okay, Rocky versus Jake LaMotta, page, you know, 120. Yeah. Page one, how do I get there? Right. Like, <laughs> exactly. Was this the sort of thing? Like, yeah. How do yeah. I get there? He's, he's just going to walk, run into a bird, walk. Okay, but what's going to happen? He can't just walk the entire time. All right. All oh, right. oh, you think he can't? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, let me show you. <laughs> yeah. There are right. movies that are just walking. Let's get a couple of jaguars in there. <laughs> Jaguar? <laughs> Some monkeys? Uh-huh. Or jaguar. Let's just do Jungle Book. <laughs> yeah, was there a bear? There's no bear, right? In this one, no. no. I guess the big guy would be a bear. The monster, yeah. I, which we still, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't find what the hell. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. Okay. I'll tell you what it's called. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the movie starts off with kind of a, a little oh flashback. Oh my god, this fucking exposition from this kid. Oh yeah, no emotion, just yeah. I'm so on Earth, um, all these people laughing. Yeah. So Earth at is least, gone. At least, Will Smith, at least have Will Smith do the fucking voiceover for this. Yeah. Don't have your kid do it. Yeah. Well, that's another writing credit now. Or another, another that's another thing on his resume. I can also do voiceover work. I can do voiceover. I can do mad. I can do sad. I can do running. Your, I can Ur- do sleeping. Ursas <laughs> are the monsters. Okay. Which, okay, I'll wait till we get there. This is a lot of expositions they're throwing at you. This yeah. is like a, a ton. They just drop this on you. Scroll text. Yeah. It's, it's just pretty much setting up the world that we're not on Earth anymore. We, yeah, we like polluted the planet or something happened. Yeah, we, we fucked up. We wallied it. So we took yeah. So we <laughs> we took off, which I still haven't seen by the way. Oh no, I've never seen. You never okay. seen Wally? I've also never seen Finding Nemo. Same kind of vibe as this movie. Okay, not a lot of speaking, <laughs> just things moving around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what's left of humanity <laughs> leaves Earth and they go to a different planet. Yeah. But then on this planet, there's aliens that live there, right? So they're like, fuck, no. fuck you, human. Or did aliens come to this planet after us? There's no aliens. There's one alien, but that was on the ship with them. Everything on the on the planet is just they're just uh, animals. No, I'm talking about in the in the 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 exposition feedback where they're saying what happened. I wasn't it that we left our planet and settled oh, on a new. Um, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nova Prime. Yeah. Yeah. So there were aliens there. So they're like, hey, fuck you, humans. So they released these Ursas. Yeah. Against humans. But we never saw the aliens. We just no. saw the the dumb monsters that they sent out, which sense our fear, right? So oh, we, they're that's, they're blind. Uh, the monsters. I, I'm sure uh-huh. that this was meant to be a long series of films. Yep. So that was in my trivia too. Okay. Yes. So we'll see those monsters, those we'll aliens, see the aliens, in in the, the next sequel. movie. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But don't think that's coming. <laughs> we actually got some posts from our Facebook feed. Oh, do we? Yep. Oh. Mine's not updating. Um, okay. If you want to, I can. All right, yeah, what do you got? Um, I got one from our Daniel Tickner. Ah, Sea Salt. Yeah, Sea Salt, yeah. He said, after Earth, you poor bastards. <laughs> yeah. We should also tell the uh, non-viewers, the yeah. audio-only people, we're yeah. doing a Facebook Live. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. check out our Facebook for when you want to see us Yeah, basically live. every other episode is will be on Facebook yeah. Live. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you haven't caught on to that yet, then why aren't you on our Facebook page? Yeah. Give there us a like. Go. Subscribe. Whatever yeah. you do on the Facebook. Yeah, anyway. So these monsters, these Ursas, they, they're blind. And they sense our fear through hormone, uh, pheromones that we release. Okay. So these rangers, that, that's what they're called, right? Rangers? These yeah. rangers are taught to have no fear. So that way we kill them. 
Now, here's my biggest problem with this. Okay. It's uh, it's also my same problem with the T Rex in Jurassic Park, where Doctor Grant says, "Don't make any mo- sudden movement." Right. Yeah, but couldn't the thing still smell you? Like, wouldn't the T Rex still smell that? that there's, a, there's, a, there's a thing there that I'm supposed to eat. Wow, I never thought of that. Really? You that, never thought of that? No. Okay. So not only that, but what wouldn't the? these things smell or just be like, "Hey, I have all these sharp things. I'm just going to start swinging until I hit something." Yeah. But not only that, he did do that at some point. Yes. But here's my other main problem. Okay. These Ursas. They're blind, right? Right. But we find out later that they can spit acid, like like almost like like the Sigourney Weaver alien. They can spit like acid right. or something, right? Yeah. So why the fuck are we fighting with with like swords? Where are the guns on this planet? Where, why why aren't we fighting these things with guns yeah. or lasers or Iron Man suits or something that'll protect you? Why are we insisting on like hand to hand combat up close? I was watching this. I'm like, this is stupid. We're that far in the future where we can colonize our planet, but we can't shoot a, this thing with a gun. That is that's yes. <laughs> That is a very good point. Yeah. Why? If you have the phasers at this point. Yeah. Where you set it to kill, and uh-huh. boom. Yeah. I mean, you could go, go through fucking, you could jump through a wormhole for Christ's sake. Yeah. Uh-huh. You can't, you can't fire a gun? Yeah. We can't fire a gun at these fucking things? Oh. Huh. Oh, boy. Yeah. Or a rocket launcher, or, or we, no one invented a lightsaber in 2,000 years. Yeah, that right. Would, or 1,000 years. Some sort of weapon. Besides, yeah, That's I mean, it's, it's a cool me weapon. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it, it can change forms and everything. Yes. It's, it's pretty much like a T one thousand spear. Uh huh. <laughs> that, that's that's cool, but eh. so Will Smith is the leader of this ranger group. Yeah, and he's the ultimate person who can ghost. Ghosting is ter- is where you have no fear, so you don't release these pheromones. Yeah. So he's the master at it, Will Smith. Like he's a pro, and his as you can tell by the way his character talks and walks yes. and interacts with people. So his There's no emotion. Nef- this could have been Keanu Reeves. Uh-huh. <laughs> so his son in the movie and in real life, Jaden yeah. Smith, mm-hmm. is also trying to be a ranger, but he doesn't he doesn't pass like the ranger exam. Yeah. I guess it's e- it's either that he's too cocky, he's a little brat, or he's scared all the time. It's one of those three cuz he can like physically he's he like there's a scene where they're running yeah. and he outruns all the other ranger cadets or whatever. I I think uh it's because he's not in control of his emotions. Yeah. As evidence as to his reaction as you're not a ranger. What? No, you have to let me be a ranger. But my dad's coming home and he's not gonna like that. I can have no emotion, I promise. And I love how that guy that guy who's like the the one who's like their drill sergeant. Yeah. He, you've seen him in other army movies, right? Yeah. Like he's in all the army movies. Yep. He straight up says, Well, tell your dad I said hi pretty much. Yeah. He's like, he yeah. doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, my dad's coming in town. All right, well Tom said hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got from that comment you made. I don't <laughs> Tell him thank you for his service and right. fail. Yeah. And it's funny that they're called rangers. It's funny that in like genre, mm-hmm. the term like, ranger, like in Lord of the Rings, Ar- uh, Aragon is a ranger. Okay. Jon Snow is a ranger on the Night Watch. Right. And his uncle, Je- Ben Ben? Ben Jen? Ben Jen. Ben Jen, yeah. yeah. And then in this, rangers. It's it, it's funny how like in like sci-fi or fantasy, the concept of a ranger is like a badass warrior. I love how that... That mixes across yeah. the, that that title. I always, to me, rangers were always like scouts. Like they, they were, they had bow and arrows, and they were out kind of gathering intel to bring back to everybody else. They mm. weren't, they weren't the warriors in, in my mind, anyway. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. In these movies, rangers are more like the badass guys. Like, yeah, like Jon Snow wants to be a ranger. I want to be a ranger, like my uncle. Right. Some of them have uh, giant robots that he even get into. Which <laughs> my show's oh, a yeah, big that's fan right. of. What are you talking uh, about? Yeah, they're very powerful. Oh, you're talking about the Pacific Rims. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Which means they're also making a sequel, by the way. Are they? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, good for you. But guess who's not coming back? Stringer. Hellboy? Oh, Stringer, Stringer Bell, dude. <laughs> he died. That's a shame. I was listening to, off topic real quick, I was listening to a, a podcast, a movie podcast. All right. And they were, and I hate this. I, I just figured it out. I was like, we do this too. Oh, wait. Let's, so let me tell you about Game of Thrones. Spoiler alert. J.B. Lannett, like, they don't give you enough time in case you're like, oh, shit, I better, I better pause it or whatever. Right. It's just straight. Spoiler alert. Bruce Willis is a ghost the whole time. Like, that's how fast no! the cadence of the voice is. That's, that's awful. I know. There's, there's no point and saying that. We do that too. <laughs> yeah. Well, then again, we're also, you're also watch, listening to a, a show called Spoilers. Yeah, I know. So, mm-hmm. it's like it. Well, actually, so basically, spoilers... The name is pretty much preemptive for the whole thing. I know. It's just it's just funny how that's how we talk. Like, hey, by the way, spoiler alert, Jamie Lannister does this. Yeah. I'm like, okay, thanks. 
Like yeah. I told you, I was listening to a sports podcast when I wasn't caught up with Game of Thrones, and they straight up said, hey, what'd you think of the, the Grandma Tyrell dying? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? That's the worst. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the best case, I feel like I've mentioned this before, this was at the end of season, the last season, when uh, Jon Snow goes through some things. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> some things. Yeah. Spoiler <laughs> alert, everybody. We're Game of Thrones-ing. See, that's the important amount of yeah, pause. That, they, yep. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Time. When, when Jon Snow, uh, he, he, gets, he gets killed. They, they kill him off. And then I see, because I hadn't seen that episode yet. And then uh, it was the, the headline was, you'll never b- believe who died. And then it has a picture of Jon Snow. Like, they, they put spoiler alert on the, on the title. <laughs> but then the image that went along with it was just him. I was like, what? you not. Ah! <laughs> they like ble- bleeped out his name. It's like, beep, beep, died this episode. Mm-hmm. And then like, all right, thanks for the spoiler. Just keep scrolling. There's a picture. And I'm like, ah! That negates the whole thing you were trying to do. Sons of bitches. Anyway. Oh, by the time this drops, Game of Thrones is over. Oh, boy. That was crazy oh, when yeah, so-and-so that's died. Right. right. That last episode, man. Yeah, when so-and-so died. The cliffhanger. Holy crap. Oh, my God. I can't believe all the things. It turns out that Game of Thrones is actually part of the magic universe. Yeah. Jace the Planeswalker showing up. Right. Yeah. By the time we're recording this, that episode of Game of Thrones hasn't come out yet. But by the time this drops, yeah. it will. Well, that's true. So if you're watching already. now, we're not making sense. Yeah. If you're listening, then we're making sense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And it turns out Jon Snow woke up and the whole thing was a dream. <laughs> <laughs> and you were there. Yeah. And you were there. Uh-huh. Oh, and it's Varys just as a farmer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were asleep the whole time. He'd be the butler. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Now listen, there's, there's... Katie. Just go ahead and relax, and you've been out for some time. But just, I'm here just to massage you, okay? <laughs> no, no. Var- Varys is the chef, uh, and Littlefinger's the butler. Who would my guy be? Tywin. Tywin. He'd be the gu- the insurance... landlord, like the asshole landlord yeah, of the yeah, apartment building. Landlord, absolutely. <laughs> or the absolutely. guy trying to take the deed from the farm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we're doing Wizard of Oz. My bad. I don't know why I said apartment building. Oh, oh yeah. maybe because I was thinking of Lady of the Water, which is also a Shyamalan movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> so if you couldn't tell, there's not much to After Earth to This movie talk is pretty about. much, hey, we crashed. <laughs> Get over there. Right. Walk over there. Walking, walking, walking. Monkey, walking. Bird, walking. Hey, I got the thing. Oh, no, there's a monster. Oh, no. That's the movie. That's, yeah, that's that, basically it. I pretty much told you the whole movie. That's, that's all of it. <laughs> Absolutely. We get to see the wildling for a, a good two, oh, two minutes. Oh, dude. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. The, he, the, he was a, such a dick. Like, hey, you want to see something scary? It was weird <laughs> looking at him because like, I could see yeah, it. No but but, I, but it's also confusing. Yeah. Yeah, because he's clean shaven. Uh-huh. Uh, but it's like his eyes are still like, the same expressive looks that he, you get, he gets from Game of Thrones. Uh-huh. Uh, but not seeing the beard is just like, it's, I can't, I can't. Mm-hmm. It was very weird. He, he looked a lot like, um, oh, no, I'm thinking of his name. The guy from... Uh, Firefly. He was also in Dollhouse. He was the he was the captain. Who's the captain in Firefly? The the, Philly? the, really? the pilot. Nathan the Philly? pilot. Oh. oh. Ooh. Damn. I, I had tip of my tongue. Tip of my tongue. I'll pull up right now. Okay. We'll get there. Yeah. So yeah, let's talk about that. So pretty much, Will Smith is going on one final job. Yeah. And we've seen enough okay. movies. Yeah. Of we course. know what happens when you got one final job. It's my last day on the force, Chief. Right. You get you know. So he's like, Jeez. "All right, kid, I'll bring you along, even though you're not a ranger." And even though you're a hothead, yeah. you can't control your brochures, I'm going to bring you along. So they're... Yeah, because the wife says he needs some dad time. Y- yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, in Firefly, the character's name is Wash. Yeah, okay. What's his real name? Alan Tudyk. 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 He's the voice of the robot in Rogue One. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Freaking awesome. Love yeah. that guy. That was fun. Yeah. He's also in one of um, the, I think also one of the movies with uh, the Joker. Yeah. Nicholson or Heath Ledger? Ledger. Oh, Knight's Tale. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could picture that. Mm -hmm. So angry. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so on board is an Ursa. Is that that what these fucking things are called? That's fine. (laughs) Yeah, Ursa. So on board. The the, the fear mongers. Yeah, they're they're transferring, they're transporting one of these monsters to the planet they're going to for training purposes. Right. So that way on this colony, they know what ghosting is and that way they could do it. So the wildling from Game of Thrones, like the king of the wildlings. Yeah. The guy who likes uh, Brienne of Tarth. Yeah. That guy's hilarious. Dude. The ginger. On the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's so fucking funny on that show. <laughs> I like how he looks at Brienne like, eh? Yeah. And she's just like, ugh. 
<laughs> I, I love the, the episode that just happened yeah. that we're recording yeah. where um, <laughs> he's telling the hound, yeah. oh, I got a lady back home. And then the hound figures out who it is and he goes, Brianna fucking talk. <laughs> you know her. <laughs> She's ready to beat you up and eat your liver. It's like, you do know her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so he tells... Uh, Jaden, he's like, hey, you want to see something scary? Guess what's in there? And then it's as he's stepping closer to the thing, um, he's getting scared. And then they do this. He's, he's giving exposition, too, about how fear works. Yes. Like, at, oh, that's at, right. at this point, the urge is picking up on your sense, and you're trying to fight every urge in your body to feel the fear. And, and your brain is telling your nervous system uh, that you can't move and all this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and then they're flashing back to when his sister died. Yeah. Who's played by Zoe Kravitz. Because I, when I saw the, I was like, oh, Zoe Kravitz is in this? Um, you know who her parents are, right? Uh, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, Kravitz is and, the dad. and Madonna? No. Um, <laughs> what's her name? From Cosby Show? Uh, the daughter, the oldest daughter? Oh, yeah. She's all like a militant. Uh, um, what is her name? Like feminist or Bonet? something? Bonet. Lisa Bonet. Oh, never mind. That's her mom. I'm thinking somebody else. Her parents are Lisa Bonet oh, okay. and Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, she was also in, like, which one was she also in? Um, the one where they uh, had, had to be chosen based upon. What they're Harry Potter? No, <laughs> it was Divergent. Yes, Lisa, Lisa Bonet. Oh no, Zoe Kravitz is in that. Yes, I don't think I ever saw Divergent. Yeah, they're, they're so. not good. Not good. Okay, they're not good. All right, Divergent one. The Divergent one. The Divergent one. No, like that whole series. Is like, oh yeah, it sucks. All right. And Lisa Bonet was also in Enemy of the State. Ooh, that's a Wilson movie I like. That's a that's good a one. great Wilson. Yeah. Movie. They tried to remake that with Shia LaBeouf later on. Oh, Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye. Oh, yeah. Fuck that movie. Didn't work out so well. Yeah. What movie? Eagle Eye. Never heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, watch Watch Enemy of the State. Yeah. That one's a badass. It's a better movie. version. I fucking love that movie. Dude. For sure. Oh, uh, the... Jack Black's in it. Oh, no. Is he? Yeah. He's one of the nerdy tech guys uh, with Jamie Kennedy. Uh, damn it. That's fine. He's not very Jack Blacky in there. Okay. That's fine then. Yeah. Like Kong? <laughs> no, no, no. He's like just, he's just that, like he wasn't big at that point. Oh, I see. He was still like an up and coming. He wasn't that Jack Black in, in Kong. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's fine. Who cares? But it was long. Yeah, so right. he, they've like flashback to how his mom died. Yeah, apparently an Ursa oh, got no, into their sister, house. How his sister died. Yeah, yeah. Ursa gets in the house somehow, and, and she says, "Hey, I hide under this bubble dome thing." Yeah, it's like a reverse fish your, tank. Yeah, yeah. It keeps your your uh, your pheromones in check. Yeah. So she tries to fight this thing, and oh, I'm scared too. Bam, dead. Yeah. And you, it's not actually revealed in the scene, but they, I don't, they're going to show you the same thing throughout the movie. So yeah. Fuck it, we'll just tell you right now. Yeah. By, by the way, uh, going back to these Ursas not having sight, uh-huh. uh, how do they walk around at all then? <laughs> they're they're, like, they're like, like Daredevil. That's yeah. true. Before humans, how do they get around yeah. if they couldn't smell fear? They're just like, oh, fuck, there's a door. Oh, there's a hallway. Oh, ah. Running the trees uh-huh. all the time. Okay. They have to be able to sense it somehow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And if they can sense other things, then why can they sense Jaden Smith standing there? Ah. All right. And shouldn't the prison that it's being... Shouldn't the prison that they're transporting in, shouldn't, shouldn't it not allow pheromones in? Yeah. Why absolutely. is this thing all riled up? It, it, it's or, like a pit bull who's seeing a, ste- a steak. Like, why, why are you letting yeah. this thing smell? And fear? by the way, if smells can get in it, then why not just use that as a training exercise? Keep it inside that cage, and oh, that's yeah. how, and then the ghosts just have to walk walk up to the, the ball every now and then. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Then you don't need to unleash it. Damn, dude. I think you're a better writer than Will Smith. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, movies, yes. Uh, yeah. Raps, maybe not. Music, no. No. Well, has, well, I don't know. He hasn't done it in so long. You he probably can beat him now. I think he has an album that came out in the in the past couple of years. Mm. I saw a music video and it was not impressive. <laughs> so maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe now uh, I could write better. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, Will Smith, they're like in hyper sleep or something. He wakes up and he says, hey, I, I sense something in the force. I don't know how the fuck Will Smith knows this. He senses that. There's a fucking asteroid field or something coming, and he tells the po- captain, "Hey, I think there's an asteroid storm or something coming." And they're like, "Oh, this, we don't see that on our charts." And then, yeah. wham! It happens. I, I can feel it in the ship. How? Um, How can no other ranger do it? Because he he um he, he has wrote no... the movie <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he needed a reason to crash <laughs> land on a planet. You ever seen those cars where they have those little antennas that stick out on the side of the shit of the car so they can t- tell you when a, like a bumper is getting close to like yeah. that? Same situation. But in his inside, of his, inside of his body, yeah. Well, once you ghost, uh, you develop a sixth sense. Oh, that's true. So that's starring Bruce Willis. Uh, yeah, different Will. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the asteroid field hits, and they're like, okay, we got a hyperdrive or whatever the fuck they called it. it they, they didn't call it jump, hyperdrive. I think. Yeah, jump. They have, yeah. We, have, we have to jump somewhere. So they jump. To, and, to avoid asteroid comet things. They yeah. have to go plaid. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so they wind up outside of Earth's atmosphere. Spaceballs so, jump. So Will Smith is like, oh, no. Oh, no. We can't land here. Let's take us somewhere else. Or we can't. The ship's breaking apart. So they, they're, you know, yeah. they crash land on Earth. Well, it was kind of interesting to see him so emotionless while yeah. the pilots were freaking out. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, do this. Do that. All right. I'm just and they're like, in. oh, God. Yeah. The asteroids are coming. Yeah. Oh, God. What do we do? Just down buckles in. I feel like he should have been like, I'll take over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy. Yeah. What? So they crash land on Earth. Everyone dies. The ship breaks up. So the, the fin, the back part of the ship crash lands 100 kilometers from where Will Smith and Jaden are. It was also a pretty cool scene that right before the ship breaks up, uh, Will Smith goes over to Jaden to like oh, yeah. make sure he you're... Stra- he tells him, strap in. Yeah, and he's, he's like telling him to calm down, uh, breathe, breathe. <laughs> then he oh, gets, yeah. <laughs> then the ship breaks and he gets sucked <laughs> he gets out. sucked right out. Like, whoa! Didn't see that coming. That's actually how the movie opens. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you remember that. Hmm. Yeah, that's the, op- that's the opening shot. It's him telling him, like, calm down, and then, ah, the ship breaks up, and then it's Jaden Smith on the ground. Like knocked out cold. Okay, and that's where we get the expedition. Like, yeah, so like on Earth, these things happened. Oh shit! Wham. I think I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I probably assumed it was opening credits, and oh. it, I wasn't watching it. That's what was happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's what happened. So Will Smith, his legs are broken, and now he's gonna be in his normal spot for the rest of the movie, just in a chair. Yeah. And he tells him, "Okay, you got to go to where the homing beacon is, because on that back of the ship, there's a thing you can fire to send a distress signal." Yeah. So you're gonna have to go on your own. <laughs> okay good luck yeah and that's this, this is the movie just that's it walking 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 yeah messing with an animal Have so you, see, <laughs> you, you have to see those uh honest trailers yeah they did one for uh for lord of the rings like you're ready for some walking and strolling <laughs> <laughs> and, and just different ways to say walking uh-huh. and, and just, just a bunch of scenes of those epic shots of them all uh, walking okay. around yeah. basically bring a pillow yeah uh yeah so now it's all right you have these now this is this is, I don't understand either. Those the breathing apparatus things. Oh yeah, so I think Earth is so contaminated that these breathing things yeah. help you breathe on Earth yeah, well, without any gear. Or it's it's supposed to coat your lungs so that you get more oxygen out of the air. Ah. It's, 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 that's the way they phrased it. Okay, maybe the, it's so contaminated that you can't breathe oxygen normally. I, it's I, like I, ha- I think it's like having like um like being on the top of the Alps or something like that. There's not as much oxygen, whereas there would be more other type of chemicals there. So in order for your lungs to like is the gather the amount of oxygen it needs to survive, it needs to have like another set of lining for lungs to pull in that oxygen into the lungs. Okay. That's just a weird theory. Yeah, that it's a it's a weird sciencey thing that it, it was it was a what it was a MacGuffin. Aviolos. Yeah. I think of av- aviolis? Yeah, aviolis. That's it. Okay. Mm-hmm. They make good water. Mm-hmm. Be, no. So it's pretty much like a video game. Yeah, like he has a suit. Uh, Jane Smith has a suit that like changes colors, like Mega Man. Yeah, and uh, he, he has like XP. He has the hit <laughs> to, to advance like Final Fantasy, yeah. <laughs> and his like supplies are limited. And he has his Navi, his dad yeah. guiding him. Like, and those little things are potions. When he gets too low on health, he yeah, takes a yeah, potion. Yeah, and the I, save points are the, those hot springs. Yeah, I do have a question though. At, at any point in the time when he does something like that, pursues towards the victory his answer what he needs for the show movie whatever yeah. game um is there like a victory song that comes <laughs> out at any no. point <laughs> yeah at least like a little trumpet in the, the background <laughs> maybe if you like turn it up like really like loud you'll hear in the background like in like aladdin mm. where the guy says take off your clothes no <laughs> maybe just, it, frowny face indicates a level up when he, <gasps> when, he, when, he, when he does that furl of his brow oh, and yeah. you see all those wrinkles so basically he levels up continuously through the whole game yeah a lot mm-hmm uh, leveling, mm-hmm. or he's stuck leveling up some sort of glitch, like in Contra. Yeah, and once you hit the maximum level, you, then you don't frown at all anymore. There's mm-hmm. no more frowns because you because you, you have no fear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you conquered the rage, uh-huh. which is also your last name. <laughs> Something tells me that was the Smith joke. I think that was a Shyamalan joke. You think so? I think so. I, I okay. I'll give, I'll give credit to Shyamalan for thinking of rage as the last name. Yeah, no, the, that has to be Will Smith. You think? You think so? He's the writer. Right. But and he's like secretly uh, directing. He's calling the shots. He's plus the he's the producer. But you forget, Shyamalan thinks he's the writer sent to Earth to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> so his writing is amazing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, okay, so wait, wait. Lady in the Water, me. by the way, that's the Lady in the Water. That was an archived uh, spoilers yeah. episode. We that's did. the Lady Check in the out. Water. That's uh, what's it called? The other one where they're not. It's the 
The, the Happening? The, not The Happening. Which one was the other one we did? The oh, one uh, Town. Village. The, the Village, yeah. The Village. The Village we also did, yeah. Which I enjoyed. Which you like. Yeah. I, that I hated. Yeah. So check that one out on the spoilers archives yeah. as well. I can't believe he still thinks that the Avatar movie was great. I just... <laughs> it makes no sense to oh, me. Oh, yeah. We've three Shyamalans. Yeah. This is four. This is the fourth one. Wow. So we're past the turkey and we're well, straight I guess it on. makes sense for the type of show that we do. I'm surprised we haven't done Sixth Sense for your yeah. favorites. I swear. Ooh. I mean, no. Maybe. Maybe for Thanksgiving. Oh, I don't know if I asked you this real quick since we're on Bruce Willis. Yeah. Would you consider Pulp Fiction a Bruce Willis movie or no? No. No? He's just in it? He's there, but yeah. But it's, like not, watch, it's, it's like not like a Bruce Willis yeah. vehicle. It's like, right. it's like watching The Expendables just to see your like cameo and then that's, oh, that's okay. it. Right. Or Ocean's 12 or 13. He was good in Pulp Fiction. Oh, I see. Pulp Fiction was on the other day. Yeah. Oh, no, Pulp was great. Yeah. He's great in it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's dead. Right. He's very honorable that he goes back to save Marcellus. Yeah. So needless to say, for this movie, even though it was written <laughs> by uh, Will Smith, Will Smith, not mm-hmm. Bruce Willis, Will Smith, um, M. Night Shyamalan still had an undertaking in this movie. It's confusing or obscure how far how far his tendrils get into this movie, but overall, it's still the dud like his rest of his other movies. Correct? Yeah. Yes, but that's not. This is not M. Night's fault. Is it? It's, is it? The story sucks, and he didn't write it. Or the acting isn't good. And from what, from what I read, yeah. M. Night wasn't the one responsible for like motivating the actors. It was Will Smith. This is true. The actor. <laughs> <laughs> but if you also think about it this way, he at some point must have said, oh, my God, this is a good movie. I want to sign up to produce, the, to direct this. That means that he's seen what Will Smith wrote, and he agreed that it's a good movie. Otherwise, no. he would have put his name on it, right? Well, he's but so... his name wasn't on it because they didn't market it that it's an M Night movie. Oh no, no, no! They didn't market it that way. But he's but he's directed in, in the credits, yeah. right? Yeah, it's the, it's the first name you see, which to me is kind of like a huh, huh. <laughs> but it, the first thing you see once the movie ends is M Night Shyamalan, uh-huh. and to me that, that was supposed to be like a reveal, like oh, you like that one, didn't was you? Was that the twist? It was me. <laughs> 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 and it turns out it's like oh, that makes more sense now. Yeah, and I was like, got it. You, <laughs> you know how all his movies. Take place in Philadelphia, right? You think he was telling Will Smith, like, is there any way we can make this like Philadelphia? Oh, I'm sure it was. Do you think he they crash landed in what is Philadelphia? Yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of monkeys and shit running, which loose. is also a homecoming for uh, the Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. <laughs> <laughs> they literally the crash landed in West Philadelphia, yeah, but <laughs> on the playgrounds where he spent most of his days, yeah. Uh, you know what pissed me off about this movie? There my Shyamalan was in it. <laughs> no, 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 there, there, there were two major things like at this point of the movie where he's like walking on his own. Yeah, I didn't give a shit about this movie because there was no like bad guy. Like if they had like 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 I Earth, like, Earth has been abandoned for like a thousand years, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember in Oblivion where yeah, Tom Cruise? Yeah. I haven't seen it. But oh, okay. Tom Cruise is he thinks he's there alone, but like Morgan Freeman is Morgan like a group of like Freeman. human resistance or like a yeah. band of outlaws with, or with I, Jamie Lannister. Yeah, I remember you told me that. Yeah. So uh, I was expe- like, I think they should have done something like that. Like there's still humans left on the world who had a fight who never left, so yeah. they evolved into something. I needed like a bad guy. Like I needed like a main bad guy. Like not my just, own legend. Yes, not, not just a bunch of like animals that he right. has to like deal with. Well, it, this is and this not is like the, a CGI monster he has to kill. Well, the, the bad guy is nature in this case. This is a man yeah. versus nature movie, which I never particularly like those kinds of movies for the same reason I think you're saying that there's no manifestation. I need of what like the bad a guy, guy is. Yeah, I need yeah. a physical guy right. to be his enemy. Also, another thing that made him had pretty much about the rest of this movie and this whole sequence was like, okay, your th- the earth has been go- gone. There's no humans for a thousand years. You mm-hmm. couldn't give me better monsters. Like, where are the monsters at? Birds didn't evolve into like pterodactyls or anything. Like, like yeah. why is he fighting like normal well, shit we normally see in it our It was a giant world? bird though. Yeah. That, it was a vulture <laughs> or whatever the hell it was. Albatross. It was, a, it, was a, it was a huge bird. Yeah. And those uh, cat creatures. Oh, oh it's true. That tried to kill the bird snakes. Yeah. Those seemed a little, like, maybe more Monstery? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, honestly, I've seen a lot better in that one, like, Brendan Fraser movie, Journey to the Center of the Earth. <laughs> There's more crazy stuff down there than there was in here. Or, like, Journey to the... With the Rock. My, yeah, The Rock. Journey number two. I don't think I've seen either of those. I think you should. It's pretty good. Journey, I like Journey 2 better than Journey 1. Me too. Just because it has The Rock in it. Yeah. Is, and did you say Nicolas Cage? No. Was Nicolas Cage in one of those? No. No. He was in one of those movies about uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Was that Nicholas Cage? No. no. That was Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Ah. 
Okay. You mean, uh, are you talking about that one where he's national treasuring up? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He's on a quest of some kind. Was uh, it was it about like sixty seconds or something like that? Yeah, that was also on spoilers. Oh, yeah. sixty seconds. Yeah. No, we never did that. It wasn't. No. No, no, no. we did. We did his th- trilogy. Yeah. His, his, oh, it comes up a lot because yeah. it has that black guy in it that I don't like. <laughs> don't worry, Lindo. Don't worry, Lindo. Yeah. yeah. The sesame cake. That, that was the first time I ever saw him, and I couldn't, like, no, you're, you're no, you're a bad actor. Like, I'm like, I'm like your eyes. Uh huh. Yeah. His name is the Sesame King? No, in Congo, in he's Congo. the, stop eating my sesame cake. And Tim oh. Curry's like, Aah. he yeah. has to take the cake out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, this movie is just boring. Like this movie yeah. is very boring. Yeah, I mean, you literally have to like put in other twice. movies to reference how bad this movie is to make it better. Or like we did like last time with that whole like uh, Will Smith movie genre add on that we did to the yeah. show just to make the thing more interesting. So there's like basically four I think obstacles that he has to overcome on the way there. Uh-huh. The first one is a, is a baboon, a bunch of monkeys that he throws a rock at. Twelve monkeys. And he's like, get away. Yeah. Meh, this is my planet. Mm-hmm. Uh, then he gets attacked he by monkeys. Uh-huh. He, he runs and he goes into the water, which we learned in Panda of the Apes. Monkeys don't like water. <laughs> that's true. So that... <laughs> I forgot about that <laughs> reference. So that's how I don't he get that. Monkeys do like water, though. No, because their hair weighs them down, and I think they drown. I don't know. That's not true. I mean, like if you go, go if you go like into Japan, the hot springs, monkeys love it. Okay. Well, that's a spa. It's not. A, not a it's really water. It, it's, it's basically it's a not spa. running. It's not moving. Yes, it is. Water. Hot springs. Yeah, because it's multiple pools. Anyway, he escapes the monkeys. Mm-hmm. Uh, next obstacle is then uh, he the gets bird? he gets hit by he gets bit by a leech. Oh yeah, from the from oh, the water. He's got to do the the fucking Pulp Fiction. Yeah, the heart thing. Yeah, so he gets bit by a leech, which poisons him and, and paralyzes him. Uh, his dad talks him through a self injection. Uh, he has got an epipen in mm-hmm. his bag, so he just <laughs> hits that thing, uh-huh. uh, wakes up, and then the next obstacle is the birds. Yeah, he he, ha- he happens upon a giant bird cage. Uh, that's full of tight ends. <laughs> uh, there's a, what do you, what do, you do while I'm out there killing myself on stage? Nothing. I like it. <laughs> I love that joke. You know, my father was a shaman and my mother yeah. was a priestess. But why they moved to Jersey? I don't know. I don't know. They're so stupid. stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, the, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bird cage nest thing where mm-hmm. there's a, it's being attacked by those cat creatures. He gets rid of the cat creatures, and then at that point, his dad discovers that he has been lying about his his rations, his breathing things. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess when he was escaping the apes, they broke. Mm-hmm. Uh, two out of the four broke, uh, so that so he doesn't have enough air to get to where he needs to get to. Plus, but... he lost contact with Will Smith. Yeah, because when he jumped off that cliff after the bird chased him, yeah, he lost uh, his his uh, thing broke. His uh, forearm uh, map thing broke. Which yeah, communicated with his dad. You know what tells me this movie is just like some dude that hacks some little kid that has a dream, and he, this is him getting home from school. Like first, oh, okay, he's getting attacked by some sort of weird monkey. So basically, it's like a <laughs> random dog, right? Then a bird. So basically, what happens is like he's getting close to some bird's nest and the bird's hitting him, right? Yeah. And then his like his thing that he get controls for this dad. That's his GPS on his iPhone that he breaks because he drops. And okay. then and then his EpiPen because he's allergic to peanuts. And no, this, that could be an actual inhaler that he has. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. This is just like some sort of weird, like, like piped up dream. So that happened that to Jaden, and Will Smith's like, "Got hey, it, let's do it." Yeah. Well, speaking of uh, uh, so many things that are off topic because there's nothing to talk about with this movie. Yeah. Uh, 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 recently, a movie did the same kind of thing you're talking about, mm-hmm. where the whole thing was imagination, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Boss Baby. Have you seen that with Alex Is Baldwin? Is that what that movie's about? Is it the imagination? No, I, I saw a review later online where they, they broke it down. They're saying, like, yeah, this whole thing happens in his room. And, it, and, it, and it, you, like, tour around his room, like, this is that scene. There's that toy. Here's this scene. There's this thing over here. So everything that happened in the movie could be referenced and found in his room. But it's, 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 a, it's a theory. It's, it's, it's not okay. confirmed in the movie. Oh, okay. But it's like, fuck, that's weird. It's crazy. It makes so much sense that way. Boss Baby was like the number one movie in America for like four straight weeks. And my friend Brian texted me. He's like, hey, remember we thought Boss Baby was going to be one big fucking joke? It's like made over $150 million. It was it was pretty good. <laughs> was, I, I watched oh it God. and I actually I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was going to be really dumb and I wasn't going to like it. Is he pretty much Jack Donaghy as it a is, baby? It is absolutely Jack Donaghy. <laughs> it is 110% Jack Donaghy. That's perfect. I would, I would love to watch that then. Yeah. yeah. So is he always, no matter what role... 
well, because he was in stuff before yeah. Jack Donaghy. But, like, he's just Jack Donaghy yep. now. He's, like, he's always Jack like Donaghy Jamie now. Like, Jamie Lannister. Like, right, He's exactly. just going to be Jamie Lannister yep. from now on? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Hodor. Everyone loves him as he. <laughs> Hodor, whose uh, DJ career has been destroyed. Oh, I heard he was a DJ. Destroyed. <laughs> Why? And because the, he's Hodor now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. I also heard that, that fat kid who bakes pies, he actually... Bakes pot. Oh, yeah. Like he's a baker. He owns a, yeah, he, he opened up a bakery yeah. Yeah. because of the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that, you remember the actress that played the main lead in Hairspray? <laughs> no. I never, the remake? Yeah, the remake. Travolta? Yeah, with no, Travolta. I never the saw woman. the remake. Well, if you watch it, the main actress, the movie's called Hairspray, right? Yeah. She's a st- hairstylist now mm. in real life. Makes sense. You got to capitalize on what you got. Mm-hmm. Mm. What was that fat kid's name? Chunk. Something, something Pie? Meat Pie. Is it Meat Pie? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds Bear right. Bear pie? No. Meat pie, yeah. Okay. That sounds wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let me find anyway. out. So he goes to the fucking... Yeah. He goes to... He finds the homie beacon. Oh, no. There's no signal because of the, the fucking mountains. It's the ozone like. radiation thing. So he finally gets a hold of Will Smith again because he found another... Hot pie. Navi thing. Hot pie. There uh. you go. So he's like, hey, go on top of that lava fucking covered yeah. mountain. Well, well but, but the thing is, though... <laughs> uh. He can't hear his dad. Oh no, that's right. He's picking it up on his own. Yeah, like he, he start. He's now starting to think like his dad. Right. Because Will Smith is like, go to the mountain, go to the mountain, and he looks and he's like, I should go to that mountain. Yeah. So yeah, he's starting to become like his dad now. That's right. right. I forgot about that, that. That I did enjoy that kind of that scene a little bit, where uh-huh. the dad's like speaking to him, even though he can't hear him, he's kind of hearing his dad's voice inside of himself, type uh-huh. of thing. That's like ah, that's kind of sweet. So in actuality, though, in the kid, his real dad has passed away. <laughs> And he's trying to like embody his father because he looks up to him because he used to be oh, a cop. Yeah. So Will Smith died in the plane crash. Yeah. And ev- everything that happened after that was all in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> that should have been the Shyamalan twist. Oh, That would have been a great Shyamalan twist. He was a ghost the whole time. Oh, oh he did it again. <laughs> you got me again, Shyamalan. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> or the whole time he never had a son because he died when the Ursa killed him the first time. So it was Will Smith. Oh, all this. his son and daughter. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Let me, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. All right, all right. So he's not spending enough time with. So the the wife is kind of like at, pr- going along with. Oh yeah, our son has to. So yeah. You have to spend more time with your son. Like she's just kind of like feeding into like his hallucinations. Yeah. So or he's or, imagining. Or that. she's also a hallucination. Maybe the wife also. Oh, the whole family. Oh. Or that's why he has no emotion and no fear. No, he has is, nothing left to live. This is for. what happened. This is what happened. All right. Yes. The the it wasn't Jaden inside that little crystal ball <laughs> I love thing. That we're writing this whole yeah. Movie. It wasn't okay. Jaden inside the crystal ball thing. It was Will Smith as a baby, watching his entire family get wiped out. Okay. And so now, as he grows up, he's creating his own little thing. Uh-huh. Uh All these people around him. Uh, maybe because he's alone. Maybe he's still in that ball thing i don't know or something <laughs> they, they lock him up in an insane asylum and he in, invents this whole thing about now he's the top ranger he has no emotions because he emotions what good do they do you and the whole family and all these things that i feel like went too far no no no, no. <laughs> let's see where this goes but yeah i the Shyamalan twist i was waiting for it yeah it never came there wasn't he hasn't been doing the twist in no, a long I, time, I, think, but I think he's got split, the idea though, had, a, had a, you know what this you know what the twist is in split right I don't, I don't the know, one with james mcavoy where he's like 20 different personas. Oh, no, I even heard of that. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Is it? Can yeah. I tell you the, the twist? Uh, I think you'll love it. Let's hear it. That's it, fine. It doesn't really pertain to the story. Okay. So the James McAvoy kidnaps girls, and he has like 20 different personalities. Okay. So one is like a female who is like very sensitive to the women who are captured. One is like an act like alcoholic asshole guy. Okay. And there's one identity that no one has seen yet called the Beast. And they think it's just a figment of the imagination, but he actually gets super strong and he becomes the beast, quote unquote, right? Okay. So he escapes uh, and he's out there somewhere, right? And the movie ends with Bruce Willis's character from Unbreakable. What? So he's making another Unbreakable movie and he's bringing back Mr. Glass huh? and Bruce Willis's character. And the beast is the new bad guy or supervillain that B- Bruce Willis has to try to fight. Oh. That's how that's the sp- that's the split twist. Okay, so he's like a Jekyll Hyde uh, with a bunch of other people besides yeah, Jekyll so, and Hyde. So he's setting up like uh, his his uh, unbreakable like universe. Huh. So the McAvoy character is the the new bad guy. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I think I'll watch that. I liked Unbreakable. That was good. 
I liked it. I, I, it, it was a little slow, but but it was still you overall enjoyable. That was supposed to be two separate movies. This the the first part was going to be you know introducing that oh people actually have powers, and the second part was going to be like the showdown where he goes after Mister Glass. It's like this whole epic oh. like second version of the story, huh. but they never made that second part. Okay, that's why it was. That's why it was so slow because he had to introduce like everything. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, that's fine. Yeah, so he goes to the mountain and the fucking Urs is there, and he finally learns. I guess touching your own blood makes you fearless. What, what, was, what was the deal with that? What's the deal with the blood? No, it's called PCP. No, no, no. It wasn't. I, I don't. It wasn't the blood. It was just. What was? What? What made him become ghosting? His, I forgot. It, it was his dad. It was his dad's voice in his head again. Okay. Saying, uh, "Be in the moment right now. Okay. Look around you. Feel the environment." And then he kind of grabs the gravel uh, by, and he's like feeling it just to like. Feel become one with a moment move through you. Uh-huh. That, that, that's all. It's, okay. It's the same thing that got him to the mountain in the first place. It's his dad voice inside of him. Okay. So he just it repeats that whole thing that he said to him earlier, be in the moment, what it, what's what's happening. Uh, all that matters is the environment, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he just, his, he goes deadpan uh, and then becomes a ninja warrior. And he kills the Ursa. He yeah. uses his dad's wep- double-sided weapon. Yeah. And he kills the thing. And then they send the homing bean, beacon out, which I, I wasn't expecting it to do that. I thought it was just going to press a button and it was just going to. Yeah. This thing shoots like a laser beam yep. <laughs> out of our atmosphere and then a giant like wave. Yeah. Energy wave. Just goes through the whole like. Whole they could, they could have done without the beam. If, if they were just hit the button, zoom out and then had, like a pulsing radar oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Fine. That'd be enough. <laughs> but that beam. A uh, fucking laser. so stupid. Nah. Yeah. So, so the distress team come. The rescue team comes. They get Will Smith. And Jaden, and they reunite, and he hugs him, and he goes, I want to work with mom. Yeah. I don't like being a ranger. And he goes, me too, son. Me too. Yeah. That's the movie. And that's it. Hey, I'm not Shyamalan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got him at the God, end. That was a twist. There was a Shyamalan movie the entire time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I fell asleep twice watching this movie. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even joking. All right. I, I believe it twice. There's not much happening. I, yeah, I, exactly. I rewound. Like, did I miss anything? Not really. You could have fast forwarded through all the non dialogue parts and you would have got the same exact experience. Because mm-hmm. they, they didn't make you, like, feel anything either. Yeah. Like, usually it seems like that are supposed to, like, give you some sort of feeling. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. have, no, it's yeah. just, oh, the feeling is he's walking. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So I should go for a walk? I don't know what the movie's trying to tell me to do. <laughs> yep. Oh, and then Will Smith. There was a thing in the beginning of the movie where some Will Smith. I guess he rescued some guy who's paralyzed now, or he's in a wheelchair. He's like, "No, I want to stand. Yeah, let me stand to yeah. honor to salute Will Smith." So this happens. Will Smith is like, "No, let me stand to his yeah. son." So, so they brought the, that back the whole time. Will Smith was trying to teach his son how to be how to ghost. It turns out Jaden taught his dad how to feel. Oh, <laughs> that's a twist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Yeah, because at the end, Will Smith finally understands why that guy wanted to get up. Because yes. that sense of honor. Honor. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I still like Equilibrium better. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. There was one joke in the movie, I think, uh, that was entertaining. Uh, when I think Jane Smith, he, he wakes up after whatever happened, and he's like, boy, that sucked. And his dad <laughs> says... That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that when his sister turned into like a zombie or something? Remember, he was on the river, yeah, on that on that like raft. Or oh, whatever? yeah, okay, maybe. So something traumatic just happened to him. Yeah. He's like, dude, that sucked. And that's like, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a good one. I like that. Yeah, I expected him to, I expected that to happen again at the end. Like, I want to work with the mom. That is correct. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. closing thoughts on After Earth. It didn't need to happen. Just, it's very boring. It's very boring. Very, very, very boring. Yeah. Not a lot's happened here. No, there's not. It, it, you couldn't have even made it shorter because. <laughs> <laughs> what you told me after Earth, and I looked at the runtime, I'm like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Like, it was a short? 100 minutes. Oh, an felt, hour 40. It felt very long, though. The original cut was like two and a half hours. Yeah, it was a. <laughs> and the Wildling was in it more. Oh. Yeah. That would have been nice. But it was nice that this was only an hour and 40. Yeah. It was easy to watch because, like I said, you could be doing other things. <laughs> I, was, I was cooking at one point, and I'm like, all right. Wait a minute. If you were cooking, does that mean that you were watching it away from the screen? So or you just like turned, went away and came back? No, I, I have it on my iPad. 
Oh, okay. I carry it with me. Because I was just about to say, if you fell asleep and you came back, there are things you probably missed. <laughs> like the no. whole reasons why they walked. Yeah. Yeah. It was a cool suit mm-hmm. and a cool weapon. The Mega Man suit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That that's it. The backpack was a little weird. I don't understand how the weapon that stays attached to it. Yeah. Is it magnets of some kind? Uh huh. Smart weapon. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. Closing thoughts, Maestro, on After Earth. Seriously, I mean, like I said, this is just some kid's like dream from what he's. How this is this is some kid that's been really like alone this whole time, but has such an active imagination. This is him coming home from school. Okay. This entire thing. Okay. Okay. Well, that was our opinion of the movie. But like I said, at the top of the show, we have lots of them. We have zero credentials. Now we're going to hear from people who actually have credentials, the critics. Do you want to hear good reviews or bad reviews? I feel like it's going to be the same. There's no emotion uh, here. So, so start with the good. <laughs> Let's see what people like. Oh. He had emotion. It's just he had no fear. He still like loved his kid. I feel like I feel like he tried to play it too much that I feel nothing. Okay. Uh, that's, he that's, tried to be too robotic. Yes. Okay. That's where I was going. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, I'm sure he was sad when his daughter died. Yeah, that's emotion. Yeah, and he did. He did. I kind of blame his son for not saving him somehow, even though he was like five years old. Yeah. Plus, he he did show emotion because he was concerned for his kid when those uh, drones were out looking for him. Yeah. Like, where's my son? Where's my son? Right. I don't know. Good reviews. Matt Zeitz of the Chicago Sun Times says it's no classic, but it's a special movie, spectacular and wise. What? How? <laughs> wise? It's wise to know how to have no emotions? No, it's probably wise to, like, you know, not be there. <laughs> All right. Uh, Stephen Ray. Ray Rhea? R-E-A. How would you say that? Ray. Ray. Okay. Stephen Ray of the Philadelphia Inquirer says, no, Rhea. After Earth <laughs> is refreshing in that it's not rife with fast cuts, whooshing camera shots, and overblown visual effects. Pretty much the Michael way Bay. modern action movies are made now. Yeah. So you're saying it's more old school. I yeah. Less Michael Bay-ish. Yeah. Uh, bad reviews time. Richard Brody of The New Yorker says, as drama, After Earth offers no surprises. As action, it's rarely stimulating. As a parenting manual, it seems that Will has thrown Jaden into water that's a little too deep. <laughs> uh, Betsy Sharkey of The LA Times says, there is no small irony that this sci-fi action adventure is about surviving a serious crash. The scorched earth left behind after Earth is sure to leave a scar in everyone involved. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, Peter Travers of Rolling Stone says After Earth merits comparison to 2000's Battlefield Earth, John Travolta's god awful film tribute to the sci fi novel by Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. Yes, this movie's that bad. Wow. Ah, yes. I, I watched Battlefield Earth. Battlefield Earth is way worse than this it's, one. It's y- y- too much talking in that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, Travolta's fucking ridiculous in that. I think he was like, hey, I did it once as Caster Troy. I could do it again. That, yeah, it was over the top. He became too Caster Troy-ish yeah. in everything. Like, like we don't yeah. need you he to did be... That in the Even Forrest Whitaker, I feel, I feel like he went, oh, yeah. he went, he went too far. Who, who you don't like. Yeah. yeah. You, do, you, do, you Forrest Whitaker and his eye? Yeah. Uh, I got one more bad review. Alonzo Duralde of The Rap says, After Earth tells the story of an inexperienced boy trying desperately to please his father while making one mistake after another. And as such, it becomes an uncomfortable metaphor for the film itself. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now it's time for the Rotten Tomatoes game. This is part of the show where I guess make the guys guess the score of the movie based on his Rotten Tomatoes score. For those of you unfamiliar with the scoring system, it's an average score from 0 to 100 amongst critics and the audience. 0 to 59 is rotten, 60 to 84% is fresh, and 85% and up is certified fresh. What would you like to guess first, the critics or the audience? Ooh. Uh, let's start with let's start with the critics. Okay. Hello, can you go? Yeah. There, there, was, there was nothing uh, to grab onto here. Usually you would grab onto the fact that Will Smith was in it. Yes. But you can't. But he's not his normal Will yeah. Smith spell. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's he's not in it enough, and he's not there while he's in it. Can you imagine in 2013, <laughs> like, yeah, the newest Will Smith movie? Yeah, you lay down like 13 bucks. Where is he? Yeah. Oh. All right. So critics, critic yep. score. If you had to guess, I'm gonna go. Well, obviously rotten. It's crazy, crazy rotten. Uh huh. And let's do uh, 31 percent. Okay. 20. 11 percent. Nice. Ooh. All right. 
Very rotten. Very rotten. Now the audience. How I, low can they go? I have never once heard a positive word about this movie okay. from anybody ever. Uh, in fact, I don't hear much about it at all. True. I, I'm the only one who ever talks about it, actually. <laughs> if it ever comes up, I'm bringing it up, okay. telling people don't watch it. And they're like, yeah, we didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Rotten again. Let's give it... There's going to be some Will Smith fanboy people. So it's going to be 28. Okay. I'm sticking with my hard 20. 36%. Uh, yep. So the people like it more than the critics. Yeah. Those might be the fanboys you're Yeah, doing these about. are only the Will Smith fanatics. Okay. Fanatics, not fanboys. Because that would be that would inclined that they're not female. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. A lot of them are going to be female. Will Smith's uh, director dude. Remember in... Uh, uh, what the fuck's the vampire one? I Am Legend. Remember that scene where he's doing those fucking pull-ups and he's all ripped? Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ, Will Smith's fucking cut. Dude. Yeah. I like iRobot better. Over I Am Legend? Yes. Oh, I disagree. I don't like the mm. fact about the dog thing. That's what saddens me. I like I don't like watching something like that. I'm going to have to go iRobot as well. Really? But I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tech. I'm, it's all techie stuff. Okay. I, I love techie things. David Hyde Pierce is the... I did not murder him from uh, uh, Frasier, Frasier's brother. I did not He's murder the voice him. of the... Niles? Yeah. He's the voice of the robot. The, yeah. The main robot. Sonny. Yeah, Sonny. Sonny that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got some good stuff. I think, what, what's the favorite Will Smith movie that you've seen? My favorite Will Smith of yeah. all time? Yeah. It's just uh, overall, based on likability of Will Smith, the comedy, the action, everything, I'd probably pick Men in Black, the first Men in Black. Oh, Oh, it still really? it still holds okay. up, dude. I, it was on TV the other day. I was watching. It. I was still laughing at Joe. like the scene where he's chasing the alien, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and the, when they first introduced Will Smith, yeah. still, and the guy we're... jumps off the off the the, the bridge, and he's Will Smith has to jump into the, the the overhead bus, and he yeah. goes, "Man, it'd be raining black people in New York all day here." <laughs> like, that, like, that joke still made me laugh. Okay, like the NYPD, he's gonna knock your punk ass down. Yeah. <laughs> And when he and uh, and uh, when they're playing good cop bad cop with Monk, the the pawn shop broker, yeah, and he goes, Jeeves, show us the merchandise. He goes, he's crazy, Jeeves. If I were you, I'd, I'd, yeah. you know, I'd, I'd show it. And then he shoots him in the head. He's like, put it down, Mister. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, he was he wasn't gonna listen. Yeah, or I know I'm going to that's fine. Black tangent, but I also love how when he gets recruited, how he goes. Now listen here. I don't want to be called junior or sport or tiger or anything. Yeah. So their first mission. Where did you say slick? Yeah. Zed, yeah. yeah Zed, <laughs> Zed is like, go get him, tiger. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a lot of fun. Or his explanation in the in the shooting where he shoots a little girl uh, um, thing. In, yeah. In that training. Right. And he goes, like, why, why did you shoot little Tiffany? Look at those books, Zed. Yeah. Physics at that at that of age in this kind of neighborhood, something's up. Yeah. See that monster over there? He's just trying to get to the groceries home. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, he's just he's just working out. Yeah, he's working out. Yeah, <laughs> he's hanging from a wall. Yeah, you got one white girl surrounded by a bunch of aliens <laughs> in a neighborhood like this. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Yeah, with physics books. Yeah, <laughs> she's the threat. She, yeah. yeah, she ain't something good. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, I liked. Um, although I didn't like the story about it very much, but I did like the portrayal of the character Hancock. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I mean, that, that had was... a twist too. That that Sh- Charlize had powers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't like that twist. I just like the idea about um him showing like in like what if he was just like an average guy or like a drunk? Yeah, but was <laughs> a hero. bum who had powers. That was great. Yeah. I did enjoy that quite a bit. Yeah, uh, but you Adam, my favorite is uh, Bad Boys Two. Oh, Part Two. Yeah, Part Two. Good. Part Two. Yes. That opening a scene sequel. with the KKK. Yeah, is great. So good. So many funny things. Uh, he's just he's 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 throwing lines out in the middle mm-hmm. of action scenes all, all day every day. I hear they're making like two more. Yeah, I heard, mm. but I read somewhere Mar Lawrence is like, yeah, I don't think they're happening. Because I'm like, okay with him. Not Will being Smith's in it. his last few movies haven't been like fun Will Smith movies. No, it was like Concussion. Yeah, this Collateral but, Beauty. Yeah, Collateral Beauty, where like his Collateral Beauty. His, yeah, where like um, he, he he writes mm. to death and time and yeah, it's, because his kid died. Yeah, it's, he's been it's doing weird. heavy shit, dude. Except yeah. for Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, so he was like the best part of Suicide. Squad, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He, that, he that's, the, that's Will the Will Smith. Smith. Yes. yes, that's yes. the one that we know and love. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, this next one's gonna be hard. Uh, Paul Giamatti wasn't in this. <laughs> He's been a lot of the movies we we were, we've seen, and since we all love him, we decided to ask, what role would Giamatti have had in this movie? There's where could he fit? Like, who are you Dude, taking out? You can't him, take the Wildling out. No, you can't. 
Make him the make him the bad animal. Oh, he could be, he could be the guy that told him you're not going to be a ranger. Oh, that works. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, I, I guess. Tell your dad I said hi. <laughs> okay. <I guess. laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the only yeah, real. That's it. You can't stick a bit anywhere else. No. Yeah. Now it's time for trivia. This is part of the show where I give out little bits of facts or info you may not know about the movie. Like I said in the beginning, let me go into more detail. Although not credited on the finished film, co-writer slash producer Will Smith was responsible for much of the movie's direction. While M. Night Shyamalan was primarily in charge of the blocking, composition of shots, placement of the camera, and the visual aspects of the film, color, and design, it was Will Smith who personally coached Jaden Smith in the performance and dictated the development of the story and the on-screen act- action. Sorry. After both the story and acting were heavily criticized, Shyamalan decided to take the blame. Oh... Ow. Wait, but it's public now, so what's the point of that? Yeah. Well, I, people, I guess people didn't know it back then. Listen to this. Oh. Will Smith personally hired M. Night Shyamalan to direct. Smith had wanted to work with Shyamalan for several years, but couldn't find the suitable project. And this is the one you choose? <laughs> the one with no twist? <laughs> yep. If you want to work with Shyamalan, you need a twist. I'm a guy who's known for twists, yeah. but I'm going to write him a movie where we have no twists. Right. Prove me wrong. <laughs> now listen to this one. The original idea for the film was a father and son on a camping trip. After the car they're traveling in careens off the road, the son makes his way through the forest to find help for the father. Realizing that the idea had greater potential, producer Will Smith and screenwriter Gary Whitta, so he like co-produced, he co-wrote it with like this guy. Uh, Will Smith and screenwriter Gary Whitta decided to adapt the basic survival concept into a much larger science fiction project. I would have much rather seen that. Absolutely. Will Smith has a broken leg and he's like, all right, Jaden, or whatever. You yeah. His name, go out in the forest. Yeah. Plus, he could still be Will Smith. Yeah. He could still be like cracking wise and whatever. Yeah. I mean, trying to make, try, making jokes so that his son doesn't freak out. Yes. Over the walkie talkie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That would have been a fun one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, damn it. The hell, it's because they wanted to start a franchise. They made like comic books that tied into the movie before it came out. They tried to make a bunch <laughs> of. Yeah. They thought they, were, they had a franchise on their hands. Oh, man. Speaking of which. Money makes the world go round. <laughs> we want to put this film into perspective with other films that were released this year so we can get a feel financially how well this film had held up to its peers. This budget. Uh, oh, no. It hurts me. $130 million. Oh, oh, wow. For four actors, pretty much. How? Oh, it's all the graphics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all the CGIs. The, well, four actors and what, four different types of suits. <laughs> Uh, kind of CGI monster. Yeah, CGI monster, CGI and birds, CGI apes. Yeah, shoot Mordor at the end, the the, the mountain. Yeah, no, it's Mountain Doom. Mount Doom. That shoot Mountain Doom at the yeah. end. Yeah. So give me your gro- guess for its total worldwide gross off a a one hundred thirty million dollar budget. You, uh, mm, that's gonna be difficult. I mean, okay, let's say we don't know anyone that's actually watched this movie. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna say this had a big opening weekend. And then a super steep decline to nothing afterwards. Okay. So opening weekend is, is, all is basically made. all of it. Okay. I'm now, gonna, you did this one time. You you said opening weekend. I said, that's not a requirement. You're like, I'm going to do it anyway. And you pretty much hit it. Oh, did I? Yeah, I okay. remember you, you, you did that. So this uh, is not a requirement in the game. It's just this is like bonus. All right. Opening weekend, I'm going to say it was $89 million. Okay. And over the next couple of weeks... Maybe another thirty. Oh, uh, ex- uh, one twenty. It, it costs one thirty. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say one twenty for its worldwide gross. Okay. Yeah, Major. I'm gonna say overall fifty million. Fifty five wow. zero. Okay. In the U.S., it grossed sixty point five million. <laughs> Overseas, it grossed one hundred eighty three point three million, bringing its total gross to two hundred forty three point eight million dollars. The... Damn it! Yeah. Uh, overseas. I overseas. forgot about the fan people. It, it made three times its budget overseas. That's crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Three times it's American gross overseas. Yeah. Not its budget. Yes. And still not profitable, though. Fanatic. Still no. No. Uh, this film debuted in third place on the weekend of May 31st, 2013 with $27.5 million. <laughs> Number one that week Ouch. was Fast and Furious 6. Oh, yeah. You can't compete against that. That's the one where Statham was the bad guy, I believe. Six. No. Seven was Statham as the yeah. bad guy, right? Six, Six was Statham's brother. brother. Yeah. That's right. With the tank, yeah, and he and and Vin Diesel drew, <laughs> he jumped to save. Oh him, my Rodriguez. god! Yes, <laughs> yeah. Th- just don't remind me. Yeah. The the coolest part about that movie, which I, th- I find the most realistic, is the fact they were using guns to hijack the cars. They like shot the uh, computer chip onto the hood to take over the cars thing. Like, yeah, that would happen absolutely. Yeah, smart. Mm-hmm. 
Still waiting for them to go in space. <laughs> okay, according to Box Office Mojo, this is the 53rd highest grossing film in the category sci-fi slash adventure. Number one is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Mm. Yep. Finally, this movie, After Earth, was the 59th highest grossing film of 2013. Number one that year was The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I believe that was, was that the, the first last one? one. The third one. Oh. Uh, number two, I think. Yeah. Yes. Number two. Because yeah. the last ones had the part one. Part the Mocking two. Jay. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where can you watch this movie, Adam? You watch it on Amazon mm-hmm. if you like. You can go to Amazon.com, but first or go to our out, website. Or you can check out Hancock. Yes. Men in Black. Bad Boys Two. Bad Boys Two. Yes. All the other. You don't even need to watch the first Bad Boys. Yeah. You you, you don't need to at all. I don't all. Th- even think I saw the first Bad Boys. I think I've only seen part two. I, I saw it once because I was like, I've seen the second movie like five times. I should watch the first one. Not as good. No. And Joey Pants is their like captain in Bad Boys. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's yeah. right. With the uh, tying in the room with Feng Shui. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Oh Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Martin Ooh. gets all the uh-huh. ecstasy and uh-huh. they go to the, go to the Joey Pants' house. Like, what is, what's going on? There? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. So you can check those out. Oh yeah. Go Amazon. to go to RatPackPodcast.com mm-hmm. or RatPack.Productions. Uh, there's an Amazon banner <clears> on the side of the page. There, click on that. It takes you to Amazon. Do your shopping as normal. Doesn't cost you anything extra. But help support the show. Yep. That's 2013's After Earth, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Check out our website, ratpackpodcast.com slash spoilers. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Spoiler Show. Check out and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Rat Pack Productions. Write to us via email at spoilers at ratpackpodcast.com for any questions, opinions, and movie requests. Please rate and review the show on iTunes so it can help us in the rankings. If you leave us a review on iTunes and leave us a recommendation for a movie you want us to watch, that movie will go to the top of our list and we'll watch it before any other requests. Next week, I don't know what we're watching. Our our, our Excel spreadsheet is oh, blank. Oh, yeah. We're dry. So we're going to have to figure out the next few weeks. But it, it'll be something. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I think this was a... Uh, was this one a request? I think this might this have been on technically. C- this is what, on, on one of the yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw like, that on the spreadsheet. I got like thirty. He requested this <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's why we chose this over Wild Wild West. Yes, because it was Will Smith and also checking off a sea salt. Oh yeah, that's what it was. And then he's the and one. And you want to do part. Shyamalan again? Yeah, that's right. It's always good. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? I mean, I really. Why do you torture me with Shyamalan all this time? You're asking me why I torture <laughs> you with all the crap you bring in here. Hey, you enjoyed some of it. All right. Guys, we are, <laughs> as of this recording, a month and a week away from October. Ooh. Oh, oh, I cannot wait. All That's right. my month. Yes. I already have one in one in mind. All I have, right. I have several. Okay. Well, see, so you can submit it to Hollywood too if they get make the card. I already have. All right. Woo, doggy. Slowly. We're slowly approaching October. My month. Winter's coming. October's <laughs> coming. Yeah, so I don't know what we're going to watch next week, so... uh well, uh, we'll figure it out. It'll be a nice little surprise yeah, sure. for you guys. So it'll either be something one of us, because we have like re- stuff we want to see Oh yeah, on our spreadsheet. We have stuff from Sea Salt. My mom actually, <laughs> I talked to her today. My mom was like, you should do a Brandon Fraser movie. <laughs> and I'm like, he has done so many bad things. I'm sure it'd be easy, mom. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Monkey Bone is horrible. <laughs> oh. Is there a reason why they don't know oh, we will did. hire we him did anymore? The mummy. Yeah, we did The Mummy. Damn it. Yeah. Is okay. there a reason why no one will hire him anymore? I think there's a reason. I, I don't know. Else, uh, half of it is just you can't make money. Anymore. He was in something recently, wasn't he? He's on a show now. I forgot what show he's on, but he's he's on a show. Mm. Mm. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll mm. figure it out. Yeah. So until next time, this is Hollywood. I'm Maestro. I'm Adam. Ding ding ding. <sighs> that was painful. All right. That's the end Facebook. of Facebook. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We had a bunch of comments from uh, let's see, uh, Sea Salt, uh, Jester. And uh, other people are watching. Right my now. wife tuned in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my girlfriend's watching right now. Hey. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I caught, hey uh, I caught up on Game of Thrones, if you're still watching. Yeah. Last time we talked, I was way behind. Yeah. A whole season and a half in two yes. weeks. Very well done. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, see you next time. Um, about another two weeks. Yeah. Roughly. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah.